Hello everyone, my name is Belle and a thing about me is that I can get stuck in my thoughts, much like how in Ice Age, John of the Dinosaurs, Manny, Diego, Crash and Eddie get stuck laughing in the chasm of death, which is why I use books as my escapism. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Today has not been the very best day for me, if I'm being completely honest, and I really need some escapism. Sleezing and teasing, I'm sitting on a- Which is why I'm going to be reading non-stop today to distract the thoughts that are raging through my mind right now. <laughs> there are three books that I want to finish today. I'm in the middle of Mockingjay, Things We Never Got Over, and Daisy Hates. I'm gonna do a little tally of how many pages I have left so then we can see how many I need to read to be able to finish these today. These are my calculations. I think reading 600 pages in a day is very doable, actually, because, I mean, I'm gonna do it, because I need to. <laughs> I saw the Songbirds and Snakes Hunger Birds movie a really long time ago, all by myself, and it was really good. I just booked tickets, and after work, I'm gonna watch the new Hunger Games movie, and I will update on how it goes. That movie was so good. There was like a really terrible storm happening at the same time. So like 20 minutes left to go of the movie, the entire screen just went blank. And so our movie just stopped. So someone had to go and alert the people to be like, um, the movie just stopped a nap. It was at the point in the movie where Snow was talking to his cousin on that little broken down speaking machine. And so there was a slight glitch there. And then the screen went blank. So at first I was like, oh, this is just part of the movie. It wasn't. And then we had to rewatch part of the movie when it eventually went back on the screen. But that was such a good movie. And like the cinema I was in was like really fancy and had all these like extra special sound features. And basically anytime that there was like an explosion or a gunshot, like the entire like theater, it felt like you were being shaken. And then on Sunday, I was going to go see it again with my friends this time, but I wanted to read the books first. So then I tried to read Catching Fire This and The Songbirds book. That did not happen. The Hunger Games is obviously an amazing book and I alternated between reading and listening to it on an audiobook and it posed as a magnificent escape when I was trying to get over one of the most embarrassing things that has ever happened to me. The most embarrassing thing just happened to me. I was on the escalator and I was holding my phone. I had a lot of notifications. I was trying to see what they were saying, but it was too bright. So I decided to try to change the brightness and my phone flung out of my hands. It went flying out of my hands and skidded down the escalator and I had to chase it down. My phone was sliding and it was it was going down at rapid pace and I had to run down it and there was, this escalator was like packed there were so many people on it and I had to cut they all parted for me like it was the Red Sea or something and it was actually quite smooth because when it got to the end some man he like easily picked it up and then gave it to me well I snatched it out of his hands because I didn't want it to be stolen that was the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me it, it, it catapulted out of my hands like a rocket launcher can you think of anything more mortifying I had to run down the escalator and everyone was there and my phone was sliding across the ground and it was making such a loud sound. <laughs> Imagine if someone just stole my phone. Wouldn't that have been, that would not have been funny. It would have not been funny at all. I only have this much left to read. I am 100% finishing this book today though, because tonight I'm going to see the Songbirds and Snakes movie. Again, this time I won't be alone. This time I'm actually going with people. So that's going to be exciting. I will say though, out of the books, I do prefer Catching Fire over the Hunger Games book. The same way for the movies, I prefer Catching Fire out of all of them. So my ranking for the movies, really quickly, we have Catching Fire, The Song Burns and Snakes, the first one, and then both Mocking Jays. I need to stop talking because I need to like read these. What is it about this series? This is the second time I've broken down. May I remind you that the very first time that I broke down over the Hunger Games book, I was in public. I was sitting on a little bench like I normally do. And where I was sitting, there's never usually any people. But it just so happened, as soon as I started crying, throngs of people started moving in and out to the point where several people asked me if I was okay. Uh, uh, do you see that too? Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to finish this one. 
and the songbirds before my movie but i'm still gonna stop this one i'm making good progress i am not even gonna lie to you i am really struggling with this book i really am and i only have like less than halfway to go but i was really struggling with this book i'm trying really really hard <laughs> This book, I mean, it's okay. These things are giving me a headache, but I've been, you know, reading it outside. Tiberius. <laughs> I told you it was too hot for you to be out here. That's Tiberius's dad. Oh my god, what kind of spire is that? When I am trying to clean my mind, I love putting on an audiobook and just pacing round and round my kitchen bench. It's very therapeutic for me. It really does help clear my mind. But before I do that, I thought maybe I'd let you know some things that are on my mind because I said agree with me because I'm sad but it's like well why are you sad I will admit it's first world problems so first thing <laughs> it's so stupid it's so so stupid but you know when you have a first attachment to someone well th today I just found out that the guy that was like kind of like my first like he has a girlfriend I'm taking this a lot better than what I expected. I thought I'd be hysterical when I found out. But no, I'm actually quite fine. Also, my uh, book packages, they are running late. And I'm just thinking they're running late because it's Christmas time. Because I went on a rabbit hole online and every single person was like, oh yeah, whenever they say running late, it usually means they're never going to send it. It usually means that the people have stolen it. And I keep seeing the delivery vans drive past my house, but they're not stopping. And I'm like, guys, I know my packages are in there because they've been picked up. They have been picked up. So I know that. They just, but I'm just th thinking it's just because it's Christmas. But those are the two kind of things. Also, the fact that it's raining. I do not thrive in the rain weather. Like, it's supposed to be summer. I live in Australia. It is summer right now. And I absolutely hate the cold. I absolutely hate grey weather. I like when it's really sunny. I like when it is so hot. And there are a few other little boring tasks that are weighing my mind and a few other people, you know, who are like blackmailing me and whatever. But I'm not thinking about that. Yeah, right now I'm just going to listen to my Hunger Games audiobook for Mockingjay and then, yeah. Because it is raining, that means it's like perfect weather to watch Twilight. Twilight will forever be one of those comforting, nostalgic movies to me. And yes, it has some problems. Okay, I'm not going to deny the fact that it does have severe problems. But I need to watch that movie effective immediately. <laughs> effective immediately. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like I've just been hit in the back of the head with the baseball bat. That's like how I'm feeling right now. I'm sorry, this was supposed to be like a read with me. Um, I can't do that right now. I just need to... <laughs> It, it, so it's packages that are running late that are really making my brain, yeah. I <laughs> oh, also, I'm in the middle of crime and punishment, but it's just taking me quite a long time to get through. Okay, so I have come to my senses. I am no longer in my momentary lapse of sadness. One, for the guy. I'm really happy for him and the girl. I'm really happy for them. Two, as for my book packages, they're going to arrive. The reason why they're late is literally just because it's Christmas. It's not a big deal. I also have work literally at 7.30 tomorrow. And I look like I've been run over by a bus. So, yeah, I think I need to sleep. Or at least attempt to. I'm gonna edit this video. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't really read that much today. I really tried to, but I 
this quim. Thank you for 10 subscribers. I'm very grateful. Bye. Bye.